We are excited that Adobe has finally granted us to the generative extend tool in Premiere Pro Beta. Now let's explore how this new AI tool can intelligently extend short clips by adding frames using Firefly to cover gaps in footage. I've just opened Premiere Pro Beta. If you don't have this version yet, you can download it from the Creative Cloud desktop app. Now you can see that I have placed three video clips on the timeline to share my experience with the new generative AI tool. Before diving deeper into the video, it's important to understand the current limitations of the generative extend tool in the beta version. At the moment, video and audio extensions are limited to resolutions of 9020 by 1080, 16x9 aspect ratio, 12 to 30 fps, 8-bit HDR, mono and stereo audio. The first clip is very simple with the camera panning slowly upwards. There is no complex action in this footage. Let's try to extend it. To do this first, select the generative extend tool which you will find in the toolbar. Then go back to the timeline and simply click and drag at the beginning or end of the video to extend it. You will be able to see the status of the progress. If extension fails, it might be due to the tool being in its earlier stages. If this happens to you, don't worry. You can try again. Just place Ctrl plus Z to undo. Then select the generative extend tool from the toolbar again and click and drag any of the footage to allow Adobe to extend the video. The extension process happens in the background so you can keep working while it runs. It may take around 1 or 2 minutes to complete the process. The generation is complete and you may notice the status on the footage says AI generated. Let's play the video to observe how the AI generated extended footage looks. I noticed a minor imperfection but it's not a major issue since this is just a beginning of the tool's development. Now let's play the video from the start to compare the original footage with the AI generated extended version. Next, let's move on to the second video to test how Adobe Firefly can extend it. This clip is a slow motion moving forward video of a baby boy walking, making it slightly more complex than the first one. To extend this video, select the generative extend tool from the toolbar and as usual click on the end portion of the video and drag it to the right. The generation was completed on the first try which is amazing because before recording this tutorial, I tried extending this video 7 or 8 times and each time I do we fail to extend it. However, if you play the video with the time indicator, you might notice a slight flickering. I hope issues like this will be resolved soon and that Adobe will provide us a seamless way to cover gaps in footage. Next, I tried another clip and it worked well. To experiment with new AI generated extend tool, simply install the Premiere Pro Beta app and familiarize yourself with this new era of AI to make your video editing process faster and more efficient.